Hello, my dear Christian friends. My name is Juan Diego Wade, and I'm a member of Olivet Church. I've been a member of the church for nearly for over 20 years now. And it's my pleasure to spend a few minutes with you this morning. I so miss seeing you all at, at church and other events, particularly our youth. Here's my virtual hug to you all. I've gotten pretty good at giving for virtual hugs over the last couple of months. I hope that everyone is doing well. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you today to talk about taking care of yourself. I believe this is vitally important during this time, and I believe that the church and our relationship with God can play a major role in how we cope with being cooped up. I would like to share three steps, just three steps with you that have helped me through this time, and I believe that will be beneficial to you as well. First is to stay connected. Of course, there's technology and things such as Google Hangouts and, and Zoom and, and FaceTime, but all of that has allowed this congregation to remain connected with the services online on Sunday mornings and daily devotionals, which I'm doing right now. But there's also things such as music offerings, um, book reviews, and even more specifically, Olivet is reaching out to his older and, and shut-in members on a regular basis to make sure that they are okay. I know that I've been given several names that I've been checking in on, and it's been a pleasure to meet some new members that I didn't get to know, I would not have known in the way that I know now. So Olivet is doing so much to make sure that we're staying connected, to make sure his members are staying connected. Sunday school classes are also still being met virtually. And if you haven't found one or if you would like one, please contact the church. There's a group for everyone. I know that I look forward to meeting with my Sunday school class on Sunday mornings. We spend time catching up on our week and each other. And then we spend time reflecting on a, a Bible passage. I encourage you to stay connected, my dear friends. And if you need more ideas, please reach out to the church or contact me. I have plenty of ideas of things that you can do to remain connected. Second of things that you can do as far as taking care of yourself is build or keep that can-do spirit. I find this so important because it can be really easy to get down in the dumps and feel isolated. But all of that has given me, and if you, if you would like, opportunities to help others to make a difference during this time of social distancing. For example, Olivet currently has a canned food drive and a diaper drive that's going on. The church recently collected furniture for a former Pacham guest at our church that's moved into their very own apartment. There are other opportunities in the community as well to assist healthcare workers and first responders. From the very first Sunday that we could not meet in person, Olivet has exhibited that can-do spirit and, and instill that spirit within others that with, that's a, within his reach. Because its services is reaching out that it has online, has members, uh, has people tuning in that's not even part of our Olivet family, which is awesome of the reach that we're having. Third thing that we can do to take care of ourselves, and maybe the most important, is to maintain hope. My brothers and sisters, we will get through this. And we will get through this wiser and stronger. You are a lot stronger than you think. In closing, I'd like to share a poem with you. It is by Catherine Pulsifer, and it goes this way. When life is getting you down and you need a little hope, look deep down inside yourself and you'll find a way to cope. When life is getting you down and you need a little love, Go to the person who you are closest as they rest are above. When life is getting you down 
and you need a little laugh, find the friend that makes you smile. They may even be your staff. When life is getting you down, don't allow it so. Change the way you think of life and life will be better, you know. When life is getting you down, don't sit and mope. Take action and always have hope. When life is getting you down, take time to pray. Don't allow yourself to frown. God will help you see the blessing of the day. Thank you, my dear Christian friends. Have a spectacular day. Have a spectacular week, spectacular month. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.